Congratulations, you booked a Facebook party. Now it's time to get it set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head right to Facebook and I create all of my Facebook party events right here from my actual um, personal page. So you head over here to the left and you click on events and then up here create event you want to create a private event because you want your host to be very intentional about who she's inviting um, not a public event where she can invite 500 of her closest friends um, okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create an event photo um, so i'm going to upload a photo from my computer um, and we're going to do a raising readers party so i'm going to find my rating readers or raising a reader event header and I'm gonna add that in here and I'll show you that on my um, desktop or on my in my files I keep a cover images album so I keep a bunch of them right in there so they're really easy to access um, so I've got my event and then I'm gonna call this um, actually let me show you I use Evernote, so I keep a cheat sheet. I have a notebook with all of my scripts in it. So this is my Facebook party script. So my event is gonna be called Jessica's Rating Re Raising Readers. And I'm just gonna paste that in here. And the location I always put right here on, oops, on Facebook. All right, and you set the date and time. So I usually do my parties on Thursday nights, and I usually do them at 8.30 p.m., depending on the time zone of the person I'm doing it in. Um, and then the last thing you've got here is the description. Again, where my little cheat sheet comes in handy, I have the description already written up. I just copy it, I paste it in here, and we're good to go. Putting the website right at the top, I will actually change this to be the actual eShow link. And there's another video that we have that will teach you how to set that up. But be sure to change this to the eShow link. So that's the first thing that they hear or see. The other thing I'll do is the location. Sometimes I'll put the shopping link right in there as well. Um, and then I just click create private event and we're good to go. Um, then you'll want to check out a, a video about Visly um, and how to post into your party. I usually add the first post as a welcome video for me right away. Um, and I can hop into Visly and create it from there. But um, the next thing you want to do is invite your host um, so that they can join. And then I always go back in here to edit. Um, and I will then it gives you the option for down here to have a co-host. And so I will add um, my co-host right there. Um, and then she'll get an invite to that. Um, so now you've got that. And then I usually invite my host after I've done my initial host coaching so that she doesn't see this event and just start adding all 400 of her Facebook friends. Um, but she's already gotten that host coaching from me that we're gonna be intentional about who we've invited. The other strategy I do with inviting is I tell my host to reach out to her guests and um, send some would you like an invite message. Um, and when she gets 10 of her uh, first RSVPs that want an invite to the event, then I actually invite her to this Facebook event so she can begin her inviting. So there's how you set up your Facebook event.